Chapter 2 Forces and Shape A force pushes or pulls and can change the shape or motion of an object. You need to recognise these forces reaction, weight, upthrust, friction, drag, magnetic, and electrostatic. A force is a vector and is measured in newtons. More than one force acts on an object. Take this falling apple. The downs force is weight and the upwards force is drag. And when the apple lands on Newton's head, the downwards force is the weight and the upwards force is the normal reaction force, which is the opposite force. When there are balanced forces, there is no change in motion. In this example, minus 200 newtons plus 200 newtons results in zero newtons, which is the same as no result in force. Therefore, no change in motion. However, when there is unbalanced forces, the object will accelerate or decelerate. In this case, minus 100 newtons plus 200 newtons equals 100 newtons to the right, which will, in turn, cause a change in motion. Friction is a force that opposes motion. Drag is like friction, and an object that moves through a fluid, such as a liquid or a gas, experiences drag. Friction is useful in order to walk. However, it is a disadvantage for ice skaters who rely on the low friction ice to glide. It also causes wear in moving parts. Hook's Laws time! With a spring or a wire, extension is proportional to load, only up to the elastic limit, where it no longer obeys this rule. Elastic bands do not follow this rule, and this is how the force compared to extension looks like for an elastic band. Chapter 2 done!